all right guys so welcome back look i've been thinking about this game all day like there comes a time once in a while when you get a game and you're like eh, it might be good you know looks pretty good but it turns out to be pretty damn good and well here we are ladies and gentlemen welcome back to quantum break i mean let's be honest here what is there not to love about time traveling and uh that's what this game is about a lot of interesting characters uh really fun gunplay phenomenal gunplay so far and then we get like a little show at the end which is awesome so if you guys want me to include the cutscenes at the end just let me know in the comments i'm still kind of on the fence about that they're really great and they add to the story but i just want to know if you guys want to see them so anyways sit back relax and let's do this perfect place to hide something Act let's two. talk about the dry dock incident Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the Ground Zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh... Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You've three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. Are we still discovering new powers? Cutscenes definitely adds to the story because we saw all of this in the cutscene. But now in the game, we see how he really got their weapons. We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. And escaped. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. Still waiting to wake up. Use time vision when its associated power icon is flashing to locate the Cronon sources. Yo, we're just here inspecting these people while they're frozen in time. They feel good. Yes. Beth Wilder risked blowing her cover to rescue you. Sounds like you didn't exactly return the favor. No. I didn't. You know, playing this game really makes me want to finish Control. And I didn't finish Control because I thought it was kind of freaky and just kind of freaked me out. But, man. Collecting Chronon sources allows Jack to upgrade his powers. Oh, so we can upgrade the powers. Okay. Um. All right. So the active pulse. Increased threat detection. Enemies remain revealed for longer. Okay, increased strength. Time stops durability decre increases, uh, allowing more bullets to be stacked on uh, before it collapses. It's actually pretty good. And then we've got increased focus. Focus time triggered by aiming LT immediately after the time drop. Okay, I'm going to go for the time stop. I think can we even upgrade that. No, we cannot. This cost one. I have one available, so why can't I upgrade that? Oh, I got to hold it. All right. Well, I just upgraded the one that I didn't want to upgrade, but you know what? It's fine. All right. All right, so now we have to get out of the warehouse. I'm assuming we can just hop up here. I got to remember the controls. Oh, my goodness. But right now, we just got to get out of the warehouse. Why am I here? But before, ooh, maybe we've got to investigate. I mean, look at this game, dude. This is beautiful. How is this from 2016? Jesus Christ. Only way forward. Wow. Freaking awesome. All right, so use time vision to highlight the destructible objects in the environments. Destructible objects, okay. Bam! Nice! Anything here? Huh. 
before we go to the other side. Dude, this game is freaking beautiful. Well, that's weird. Some time triggers allow Jack to manipulate the time specific object. Oh, that is awesome. Okay. Oh. Doesn't last. Okay, I know what. Okay, okay, no, okay, 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 okay. I got this. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I can manipulate their timelines, rewind them. There's got to be another way in there. Okay, you better run, Jack. Perfect. So this is exactly what we needed to. Okay. Something inside. We got to go inside that little office. But we've got to go through the rooftop. That's what it is. Uh huh. Did I do this right? Yes. Still no word from Burke on Jack Joyce's position. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why. But part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. Focus efforts in our PR campaign. Amy Ferrero's confession goes live in a matter of minutes. That chart was the first sign. Monarch had built an entire PR campaign to protect their reputation. You'll have nowhere to turn. You'll come to me tonight. At the gala? You're sure? Positive. Hmm. Okay, so that's basically the strategy that they're trying to use to pinpoint and grab us, capture us. And here we have a shit ton of weapons and, and very incredibly useful bullets. <laughs> I like it. So, hey, Jarheads, uh, just got word from Martin Hatch. Apparently, our almighty overlord, just kidding, Paul Serene, has given the green light to our PR proposal. We're implementing a board PR strategy. Or a broad PR strategy to deal with the public reaction to the university operation. That means that you will all be working with me directly for the next several hours, whether you like it or not. That's directed at you, Dave. First up, news broadcast. Okay, so let's see here. I've skimmed uh, through the list of the witnesses pulled from the university and marked the best candidate deli uh, to deliver the our false confession. Amy Ferrero. Perfect mix of hot and sad puppy. Media will eat her up. Green screen and recording equipment are being prepped. As we speak, time of the time is of the essence. I need uh, that video shot and delivered to me within the next half hour in order to get into the media in time. So get her ready for the 15th minutes of fame. We're going to be pinning all this on Jack Joyce, that wacky little domestic terrorist rascal. Somebody needs to take the fall, right? He reminds me of, uh, was he uh, Michael Scott's? No, not Michael Scott's. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> Michael Scott. From Prison Break, man. Uh, Michael Schofield. Was he, wasn't he? Was he his nephew? Isn't that the same actor? Very, very f similar faces. I, I could be mistaken, him, but I couldn't help myself from thinking that, though, when I was looking at the cutscenes. All right, so I think we're clear here, except for this. Ground Zero map. Green zone. You might experience minor coronal radiation. Yellow zone. Red zone, potentially irreversible damage. All right. Let's get out of here. What's Reaper Squad doing with the video cards of an Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. We blew the library to create misdirection. It's him! Joyce is here! Better bet your dollar dollar. You have your bottom up. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I'm kind of nervous. All right, we're gonna need a heavier firepower for these guys here. All right, so that's the freeze them in time. We gotta get the hang of the controls again. And we got this, dude. It's like it's, it's like everything from the music to. So many little things that make this so hype. Oh, uh, and that was a shield. What I love about the shield is that I can still hit them, which is awesome. Semi auto shotgun. You gotta tell me twice. Alright, let's see here. Uh, 
let's see. Anything here? I'm gonna shoot that down. Get my handgun. Unlimited bullets. I love that the handgun is unlimited ammo. That's so clutch. What do we have here? Hmm. Exit the warehouse. We gotta go up top. Can I climb this? This elevator looks like the only way out of here. Oh, it's an elevator. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. No right, power. So Figures. Alright, so we just dropped this crane down here. was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a monarch cronin harvesting operation and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about dry docks? If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm No! Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. I like the idea, too, that it's we're essentially kind of like a prisoner running from the law, even though we're not really criminals or anything like that. Or at least not any hardcore criminals. All right, that's it. But like the whole vibe, you know, like we're running away from all these people like the whole time. It's so cool. All right. We also have here now um, upgrades, increased threat detection. I'm going to go for the increased strength. Nice. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized the place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. Okay, so go to the Serene or go to Serene at the dry docks. I did what you said, okay? Please, please just let me go. Well, you did good, Amy. Broadcast just went out, but Hatch wants a follow up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we've done, Serene. Dave will feed you the lines. Dave? We're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? All right. I mean, <laughs> I tried to be nice with the handgun and shoot you with small bullets, but it forced my hand. Nice roll there, my boy. Nice. I like it. Jack Joyce. Wait, you know me? What's going on? <laughs> Who doesn't know you, bro? <laughs> I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. I drop bottle. Martin Hatch's prescription contains Cronon. Hmm. From Paul Serene. Operation Ground Zero. Sophia. Morale. Sophia, yes, a fracture. I knew Marduk was doing something, but this is completely fucked up. <sighs> okay. Preparations will be ready by the time it has. Run its course. Keep in mind that I've been on the end of time. I've 
seen how it plays out we've taken every precaution necessary now we just need to make sure that the pieces fall into place we cannot cancel the gala tonight the team needs reassurance that our plans is moving forward without further complications even those who aren't aware of the lifeboat protocol need a guarantee that their efforts are not in vain they need to know that i am in control the university was only the first step now the real work begins i'm almost finished up at ground zero i will lead i will head to the island for my treatment very soon for my for my treatment and i've done this without you sophia oh interesting and any, anything else here no listen I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. The facial animations during in-game are really, really good. Oh, I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. Okay, so we gotta open up this gate. It's locked. Ah, okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. I wonder if it's yeah, in here. I'll check. What do you think? <laughs> mm. Monarch's twisting the story for the media, claiming the. Hey, it worked. Hey, yeah, what the hell? It's not holding long. I don't think you're fast enough. That could be fixed. Watch me. Watch me, girlfriend. Oh, my God. Yeah. You just. Yeah, that's right. You're just like them. Bend the knee right now. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Oh, well, something new to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that can of worms? You just defied physics. I'm entitled to all the worms. <laughs> Talk to me like that, girl. Right, my brother tried to explain. I'm mean, crazy. Time is an egg, which is now fucked. A time egg, which is, it's fucked. It's like broken. I, I don't know. What? What? Why is there an egg? Time is ending. Monarch has something to do with it. Get me to the dry docks and I'll find him. We're locked out. And I know exactly what I have to do. That open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here. <gasps> okay, well, I'll hmm. fill you in with what I know, but when you put the pieces together, it all goes banana pancakes. So everyone thinks that Monarch is run by this smarmy asshole named Martin Hatch, but everyone here answers to a guy named Paul Serene. <coughs> Oh, damn. Now, oh, there's nothing here. I wanted to make sure those. Also, I saw that guy Paul Serene on campus once, and he looked like 30 years old. So, if you started Monarch in 1999, that would make him 14. <laughs> so unless he's a busy house of corporate America, that's what impossible. have we got here? Banana fucking pancakes. All right, so it turns out that coming all the way over here was also the right thing to do. <laughs> Just like she was talking, and her dialogue was getting more distant. So I want to—I don't know—I thought I was possibly maybe going the wrong way for a second, but right, right, okay. Oh, thankfully we've unlocked a shortcut. <laughs> Shit. Um, is that another one of those rewind things? I'm starting to get the hang of this. All right, that's that. Oh shoot, we did it. Huh. Cool. 
Man, this game reminds me of Beta. Infamous. Now to get a to little bit. Door. Like a nice mix of Infamous and Max Payne or something. I don't know. It's pretty dope. Uh, nothing up here. It's got to be down here. Mr. Serene's chopper is inbound for. Hey, Clarice. Is that you? This is HQ Alpha. Charlie, Hello. I told you to stay off the operations channel. Sure, Clarice, now? listen. Hatch told me to search for Joyce. I've got footage of Bert taken out of Garden A1. Back of my arm truck was left open. Now I'm checking cameras in A3 and guards are either sleeping on the job or, you know, not sleeping. You know what I'm saying? He's just some random guy and had a trained assassin. The stories floating around make it sound like he's shooting laser beams out of his goddamn asshole. Anyways, I got Liam Burke hunting him down right now, so I think it's safe to say Joyce is fucked. Off the record, I heard Paul Serene has been a woman. Will you relax? I'm trying to read a fucking email. Has been investigating a potential traitor within Monarch. Somebody who's been accessing all kinds of confidential information. Remember the research Dr. Emerald was doing to find permanent cure for Serene's sickness. Rumor has that somebody sabotaged the test. I had to start over just a few, few weeks uh, uh, later. The uni op, university op, goes sour. Willing to bet the same person sabotages us. Okay. You need to practice some patience. Finally. Good work. I need to make this right. I'm going to use the terminal up here and try and dig up what Monarch's really up to. How the stock? How the how the stock's doing? Good. Ferraro, an eyewitness no? on the scene. Amy, tell us what is going on here. There were people from our group who took things too far. Shit. Things got very violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. And they forced me to do it. I, I know. Of Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have like done. A terrifying scene down there. We really that appreciate map over there should help you figure out a record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Examine the map. Ground Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? <clears throat> As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah. I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay. Stay in contact. Find a radio. I'll be on channel three. And be right. careful. Cool. Yeah, you too. Dude, Remedy's done such a great job. Wow, oh, beautiful, man. Oh my God. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. You're going to scream like a bitch right now. Direct fire! Oh! Whoa! Yo, what? Oh. Untouchable. This is so crazy. Hey, I found a radio. You okay? Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up. Is it this way? Uh, it's this way. Contact! Oh, great. Shotgun! Oh. Advancing on hostile! Oh, shit. <laughs> whoa, whoa. You want to talk this out? God, that is so sick. Oh, I could have just blown that up. He would have died. Oh, goodness. Can we do melee attacks? That'd be sweet. Oh, what is this? Advanced SMG? An advanced SMG? Hold on, let me grab that. What does this do? Oh my 
freaking cool. Anybody else? Time to move. Where are they? Oh, on the other side. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, whoa. Why did you make it past that blast? You little bastard. Okay, I'm gonna bait him in. Nice. What a loser. Wow, he was still standing. That's that's pretty that's pretty impressive. I'm gonna beat you boys up with my handgun. There it goes. So what's cool about this ability that now I appreciate it Get more him. is that you can actually still see them after a little while. So that's why when you upgrade it, you can see them for a longer duration of time after the ability has been disabled. Which now I appreciate the upgrade. Still okay out there? Yeah. Any idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Looks like a way out. Now, how do I get it open? Hmm. Let me find a key. Disable security. Interesting. There's gotta be some sort of main office or something over here. Or, 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 control room. Hey, just turned off security. Uh-oh. Jack, they're coming your way. Hmm, hey, Mr. Hatch, I've been monitoring company email servers and found something interesting. Just thought you might want to know that your golden boy has been a bit snoopy as of late. Attaching his email below. Beth. To Beth Wilder from Liam Burke. I'm starting to grow suspicious about what's going on here. I have a hunch you feel the same way. Been allowed a lot of freedom to come and go in my position, but it comes at a cost at a very low clearance. Most members of the team know something I do not know. They're not eager to share. Tomorrow's operation is more than a simple retrieval mission. There are dates and times marked with detailed events that are expected to come to pass. I've seen charts with fracture, 4.15 a.m. labeled. It was too much de uh, detail for a plan. It's like it's all been mapped out. How? Something big is coming. I can feel it. The Totals our directive is to uh, protect our world from dangers that lie ahead. If that's so, then why do I get the feeling there's something coming that we're not absolute, that we're doing absolutely nothing to stop? And if everybody else knows this, then why the hell is everybody acting? Isn't anybody acting on it? I can sit. I cannot sit back and watch if there's even a chance that this could put Emily in danger. Okay, so obviously his wife was pregnant. Joyce just took out Gatehouse One. You still don't have eyes on him? What do, what do they pay you for? Charlie? Warehouse B4. Better hurry. Storehouse One. You heard him? Move in. On our way. <laughs> Alright, boys. All of this nonsense is cute and all. But. But that's it. Damn, the shotgun packs a punch. Holy crap. This shit packs a punch. Die here. Nice. Down. Assault rifle? Yeah, I need that. Oh, 
to Jesus Christ! Even with all these powers, these, these enemies can be pretty freaking intense. But it's fine. We were trained for this. This is what I've been prepared to do. Trained to kill. Alright, let's get out of this warehouse. Round Jack? zero. Yeah. I did some digging. This chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? The CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure. But it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation. Everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? Hmm. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Hello, I'm Dr. Sophia Amaral. Sophia Amaral. Over the past six years, Monarch Monarch's resident chronon scientist. Advances in the area of oh, she must know a lot of the same stuff Will did. Better known as chronon particles. On July 4th, 2010, unique temporal anomalies began to occur in a very small and focused area. HQ, on silent side, over. What does that do? This resulted in extremely... Oh god, there's a shit ton. Oh, and the crates break. Wow. Here, goodness gracious. When the time is where's, where's the other guy? There's a couple dudes up top. Oh. Oh, here we go. Come on, boys. That burst handgun is insane, and it's unlimited bullets. Whoa, that is sweet. Throwing a frag. Oh, he's throwing a frag. Wow, that shit almost killed me. That shit almost killed me. Find a way through the warehouse. Gotta find a way out of here. All right, let's find a way out. Sending a quick email to make sure that all the divisions of the Kronen R&D department are on schedule. As you know, Monarch will be moving to Phase 3 on October no 9th upon completion. Here. May have to head upward. By the end of Phase 2, we expect to have officially harvested enough Kronon particles from the Ground Zero operation. If you want to there's gotta be something I can use to get up there. Definitely. CFR research. All research regarding the CFR must be completed. And the CFR must be returned to the Monarch Tower for safekeeping. Lifeboat. Prototype testing phase of the lifeboat's should be complete for the testing will be commenced uh we'll commence once the cfrs return to the monarch tower and chronon tech alpha build tech must be complete for our armor and weaponry beta tech will commence during phase three now hold on so we've got here all right so there's that Gotta find a way. Is there a catwalk here, possibly? Hmm. Alright, how do we get out of here? What the fuck? Maybe standing up here? <laughs> I guess so. Oh. Noise. Not your average elevator. That is freaking. I found documents here about some kind of private gala Marnak is hosting tonight. Tonight. After everything that's happened. It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from Monarch higher ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport, which raises the question, 
Why now? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Mm, there's that. That was easy. We did it. <sighs> okay. Getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? Yeah, we about to drive the car. Trailer generator capped, okay. uh, capped itself. I hooked it up to the car. Use that until maintenance gets around to this. I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene wants the first look. Look. Till then, hands off. I'll turn on the car then. Okay. Looks like the trailer has power now. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel one is the monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Hmm. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Nothing changes as we move forward. University fallout was a setback, but we can use these complications to our advantage. Paul is focused. On phase three of the plan, he is questioning if there are traitors within the Monarch, but I am confident that he does not know where to look for them. I will make sure the shift blame elsewhere. The gala is going ahead tonight. That is when we make our next move. You take care of the preparations. Make sure Dr. Kim's lab is ready for detonation. We'll make sure that Paul is sufficiently distracted as not to question our involvement. The university operation gathered far more attention than we expected. How does this impact our agendas moving forward? Okay, wow. Amy, you okay out there? Shit. No, the doors are right here. Oops. Can we go in here? Yes. The thing is, if they all have powers to fuck up with time, you know, like just, I guess, go back and forth between time, wouldn't they just keep doing the same thing and just ultimately keep opening different uh timelines if you will i don't know that's a tricky like story to like manipulate or script i guess you can say because if you have the power to bend time or go back and forth within time then you can do anything like right now we got those files wouldn't serene be able to go back in time and make us not get those files by him getting him first just, just a thought. Okay, I see what's going on here. Thank you. Jesus. Close one. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. You heard nothing. Wild guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. I recognized okay. Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as ground zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center. Of the Thank you. We have contact. I wonder if Sue was in there. They seem to be the only one in dry docks answering. Shot me like no shit, Sherlock. Back up approaching green zone. Engaging target. And okay, where are we going? Oh, come on, die. Oh, there's two of them. 
Wow. Oh, God. Nice. More this way. Shotgun is sick. Striker one, we're experiencing signs of an incoming stutter. Safeguard, I want Joyce contained before that stutter hits. That's one. That's two. Mm. Hello. <laughs> what up, boys? Oh, what is going on? Oh, what? happening okay can I just kill all of them <laughs> shooting all of them just in case all right hold on hold on hold on what am I supposed to do here supposed to climb up oh all right i thought i was supposed to like reverse time or something uh-oh 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 oh. all developed technology for his men to move through stutters we knew the fracture would occur prepared for it oh shit and he never tried to stop it Getting a little bit crazier. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, oh. I mean, as long as that's all they can do, then I think we'll be we'll be a-okay. No. What are you doing? Why do you keep climbing the bucket? being a poser that's my trick not yours oh my god where is he holy crap all right that's it now you're pissing me off let me get some bullets here where is this guy Will never told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. Hmm. Swan man, you can't be hiding secrets. It's what no bueno. Oh. Hell. What is this? Whoa, whoa. Can we just go back in time? What, what the hell, hell? What, what in like, this? what the f- That already happened. What the fuck? Oh, God. That's trippy as hell, man. Specifically requested copper clad niobium. Well, whoa, there's no words to describe it. Whoa, Will was gone. He's a genius, he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. 
trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Wait, where do you get the money for all this? Please tell me, because I want to know. Me and my grant extended another year. Please, Please don't do don't this. this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. Whoa. Very interesting. Okay, so escape from the broken time. Somehow, some way. I mean, I can't see squat, so it's. <laughs> we going through here. Go up top. There it is. It was overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Did we Gotta escape get it? To Paul. The goddamn security station. Uh, Amy Ferrero is in the goddamn security station unsupervised. My understanding was that Amy Ferrero was supposed to be recording a series of false confessions for our PR. It's funny how they have all of this crap. You act like, it's funny how they have all these emails exposing themselves. Like, would you not communicate that in a more fashionable, secretive manner? I mean, you're exposing all your lies. Really. Find it quite uh, hilarious. We got contact! You don't got shit. <laughs> There's something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make becoming... anything he'd done any less hateful. Wow. Post treatments are becoming increasingly ineffective, and I hypothesize that onsets of the fracture will increase the chronon syndrome's rate of progression exponentially. I've been trying to make it a more calculated approach to find a permanent cure for Paul's sickness, but Martin Hatch has shifted all of the necessary resources into our tech division instead. I'm beginning to question his behavior. Every attempt I've made to discover a cure has been met with Martin's red tape just between us. I do start to wonder if Martin even wants Paul to be cured. I looked into Martin's past, began work Monarch in 2001, but I, could find, I couldn't find any records about his past or any aspect of his life before then. It's almost as if he just appeared out of nowhere. He was the only one present during the accident that claimed Dr. Kim's life. I do not know, or I do not want to jump into conclusions, but I do wonder what his agenda truly is. Regarding your question, unfortunately, there is nothing in value Dr. Kim's lab aside from Paul Serene's treatments and confidential files that would be of no use to our research. Hmm. Beth. Fiona, William Joyce is dead. Our only shot stopping this thing is jack he can only lead us to the countermeasure i still believe serene 
Got to Jack first at the university. Too much heat for me to intervene, but uh, he's been moved into ground zero. I'm following the convoy there and we'll rescue him once it's transported in the past secure checkpoints. <sighs> once it's transported, it's past secure checkpoints. It's not going to be easy, but it might be our only shot. Keep Charlie one car distracted so he's not looking over the security feeds. My cover won't last much longer. You need to be in my eyes. Uh, you need to be <laughs> you need to be <laughs> my eyes on the inside. I agree. Um, I should check into Dr. Kim's lab and let know and let me know what you find. I know that gaining access will be difficult, but with the gala tonight, you might find a window. Might be able to steal Dr. Amaro's key card. I will contact you. Okay. Oh, so much shit going on. That's right, kids. Do not mess up. Do not mess with time, okay? Because this is what happens. Everything just goes to shit. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him. I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Okay. Keep going here. He already knows we're going to meet him, so... What's the point in even fighting it, Jack? It's gonna happen. I mean, we're already kind of sort of in the, the docks, right? So... At the docks, excuse me. Oof, they're giving me bullets for a reason. Wow. Wow. Don't fuck. D don't fuck. Are you serious? Oh. A full fledged no. helicopter. God damn it. Don't. Yo. This man's always one step ahead. This is unbelievable. Alright, so meet Beth. Holy shit. Gotta move. Come on. Okay, that's cute. Dude! Oh, what? Nice. Okay, so can we... Oh, it's this way. Stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. But we both know it did. That, sir. Ooh. Oh, this is getting. Okay, hold on. Are we good? Need to get the hell out of here. Yes, I agree. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't fucking do that. 
Jesus! Cutting a little close, Jack. It's like a goddamn maze in here. Huh? Huh? Climb up top. We've got this. Okay. Keep going. Gosh. Wow. Here we go. No, this is really not the right the right time for you guys to show up here. You know? I mean, unless you want to die. Are throwing Molotovs at me. Wow, look at this dude. I think I've got one or two upgrades available actually. Now that I kind of think about it. Right, can I just chill here for a sec? Expected she was frozen somewhere up there by the side of the dry dock. All right, I think we're safe now. Let's get the heck out of here. This is getting a little crazy. There she was. My exact words were don't do anything stupid. I've never been a great listener. Well, time to start. Get in. What if I don't trust you? Then shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking advantage. That's for not listening to me back there. Wow. Whoa, nice. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. Nah. <laughs> My ride, my music. Deal with it. Who the fuck are you people? What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall on the chain. <sighs> Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. <laughs> I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Mater doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. Mm. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah? I bet you like the paycheck, too. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. Oh, and fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. What? Key doesn't fit. Why is there just keys hanging there? Okay. 
I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. <clears throat> Dumpster. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yes, Amy. What is it? There were others taken from the university. Friends of mine. What happened to them? Hey, I think I found a way in. Released by now. Monarch convinced them the same thing they convinced everybody else that what Monarch did at the university was necessary to protect them from. Shoot, what the hell? Stop doing that, man. Fuck. Damn it. The stutters aren't going away. Jesus. <clears throat> Alright, so we have here. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? Hmm. Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test of the machine prototype using my trusty pet mouse, Schrodinger, in order... Wait, he's gone. Where'd he go? Shit. Come on, Schrodinger. $12,000 moving bill. Come on, come on, come on, you're okay. Must have hauled you're a lot right, more to this place right. than just some old boxes. Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will reemerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. Hmm. It has now been three minutes. No sign of Schrodinger. This is a very good sign. Two minutes to go. Okay, so, yeah, turns out he just kind of sat inside the corridor for... <laughs> Five minutes took a shit on the tubing. This reveals a very clear flaw in my test. My mouse is an idiot. You own this place since 1999? Wow. Okay, the machine is warming up again. Why didn't you tell me? Activate test number two in around about five minutes and 15 seconds. It's now clear the only quantifiable test will be travel to the past. The machine is now calibrated to send Schrodinger five minutes into the past, which means that he will now be traveling counterclockwise through the corridor, and when he comes out the other... Holy shit. Holy shit, it worked. This... this is clear proof that it's... Uh, what, I'm, what I'm now looking at is a future version of the same mouse that has successfully traveled five minutes into the past. Schrodinger, meet future you. <laughs> That must be insane. No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. Ooh. <laughs> Was it this way? Hello, Riverport. Teresa said back here, filling in for Bobby Rasmus. Right your day with some good news. The victims wounded during the terrorist attack on Riverport University are being treated in the Mohawk Solutions Medical Center in downtown. Statement saying they are all now stable and out of critical condition. I'm sure they are thankful for all your good thoughts and prayers. As for those who didn't survive the attack, you Alright, I'm just gonna go downstairs. Normally I would sit there and listen to that voice, but get the hell out of here. Any luck in there? Working on it. Let's take a look around. Down here. Hmm. <sighs> nice work. Creepy, creepy. Beth, play video. Oh, okay. This note. It's directed. To you. At me. July 4th, 2010. Yeah. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken, shit. What the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it, because if it falls 
hands into the wrong hands. Its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. All right, maybe this key, right? No? Okay, Beth, you lead the way then. Help me push this out of the way. Jack, your brother addressed that video to me, but, but I've never met him before in my life. Wow. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. Oh, wow, there was a locker up there. But I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. The big red button. Thank you. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. Whoa. This changes everything. Dude was a genius. Holy cow. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. It's impossible. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. Um, okay. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle. I think. Alright, what's in this computer here? Or oh, that's a bind or ooh, it's an email. From William to Beth Wilder. What the fuck? It's gone. The countermeasure is gone. What happened? Call me immediately. Where are you? Have you taken it? It's not safe in here to open it. You do not understand the power of this device. I doubt the number. You gave me in case of emergencies. You're not answering. What's going on? I'm freaking out. So we're trying to call you. Well, call me. Email me something. I can't sleep. Please call me. The number you gave me is disconnected. Where are you? Hello? It's been a year. I still haven't heard anything from you. You know where to find me. Even up hope that you're still listening. I'm not sure what I'm, why I'm writing this, but maybe get some closure. You changed the course of my life when you entered it. Oh, how romantic. I spent over a decade devoted to your cause. I sacrificed every relationship I had, pushed away everyone I love, all in the same, all in the name of a lie. There is no threat coming. There never was. I have to force myself to believe this. It's the only way to move on. It's the only way to pick up the piece and start over. This is goodbye. Oh, wow. So they didn't know each other. I've seen it. The cause of the fracture exists. Where are you? Are you still out there? Dude, that's crazy. The schematics. I'm not even going to bother looking at that because I'm not going to be able to understand or read that shit. So, yeah. Why even try? Ooh, hold on. We've got something here. The corridor. It's key activated. Mm. It's key. <clears throat> there it is. Can't activate the core till it's reset. All right. So, let's, let's go. Let's go that way. There's another computer here. 
and more blueprints and schematics. Okay. Got to figure out where to start. Where are the core controls? Will received a massive research grant in 1997. He'd successfully built the time machine by 1999. But the results scared him. He never told a soul. Wow, officially the youngest recipient of a Harold Steinberg research grant to date. Okay. That's probably where he got his money from. Alright, so do we... I'm just gonna go straight into the middle of the shit here. How do I get down there? I'm assuming I should probably just jump. But I don't think I can. Oh, I have to go through the bottom, dude. Oh my god. There we go. Like, I wish we could run a little bit faster. I'm running out of patience here. <laughs> the code access. Here it is. Let's see. Hey. It looks like I can reset the core from here. You sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. Hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will did us to. We have to test it. The core. <clears throat> That's what we set up first. All right, so do we test this one first or that one first? Could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. Here goes nothing. Oh shit. That's nerve wracking, dude. What was that? It's fine. It's fine. It's one out of three, right? It worked. Now what? It actually worked. Okay. We activate the corridor next. Okay. There is no way that thing should be exposed like that. Okay. Activate, activate the corridor. It's gonna be this one. Thank God. Everything seems to be working. Is that supposed to do that? <laughs> he did that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now I have access. He threw a time machine and he left it in a trunk of his goddamn car. <laughs> That's no, my brother. Nick. Nothing I can make sense of. Parents killed in a Riverport car crash article. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. Oh, wow. That's how their parents died in a car accident. The accident took place within the walking distance of the family's front door in Prison Streets. In an early afternoon, Catherine Joyce was driving lost control of her car after collision with another vehicle and crashed into a utility pole. The other car left the scene of the accident. Joyce were both well known in the Bearbury area of as prominent members of the community. Last year they've been recognized by the mayor of their charity efforts or the charity efforts and particularly the report multiple sclerosis walk. They have organized every year since nineteen ninety three. A candlelit vigil Wow, so that's how their parents died. Well, that sucks. Whoa. Hold on, we've got some more upgrades here, man. Time dodge, increase focus. That's four. Oh, we're gonna have to, gonna have to start uh, saving up here in order to start or continue upgrading these things. Okay, it's perfect. <clears throat> I'm going. We're doing it. We are about to travel back in time. 
nothing good's gonna come out of this. I'm telling you. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. Hmm. I don't know. We were so close. You know, I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. Smashing the keyboard's you not gonna help. Happened. Something's wrong with the machine. We don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's had a chronic research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's mm. airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. S Jack, Smart. No. Smart man. Or very stupid man. That is the end of Act 2. Junction 2. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There is. You are right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. It's so interesting how they make us play with both characters. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who can win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Hmm. Don't even twitch. This guy's got a lot of money, man. Holy cow. I mean, look at this place. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? whether you focus on your personal business or the mission. I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Hold to show personal. Let me see business. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are aware, Mr. George, with miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in the face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. Hmm. 
I think the personal one sounds better. We'll see what, what it shows us here. Up into the past. Try to change things. Answer me this question, Bo. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. Something tells me that the personal one might not be a good choice. But I really want to know what this guy has to say. Martin, I'm afraid you're going to have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I trust Martin either. I don't know. That might have been the wrong choice, but it doesn't matter to me. I want some dialogue between these two. See what's going on. I've seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time and I've escaped it all the way to 1999 when it all started. I've tried to change things. But by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Hmm. So there it is. Junction 2. Personal. 53% of the community agreed with my choice. Time is breaking down. Monarch has been preparing for it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Mark. Well, let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? I want a statement. Our group took things too far. Things got very violent, and that violence was because of Jack Joyce. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! Liam, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone! We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. <laughs> So two, prisoner. Breathe. They're losing their effectiveness. They're fine. No. I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. I think it could be happening sooner than we... I've seen when it happens. At least consider that maybe you misinterpreted something. Makes you like cloudy Jack judgment knows who a bit. Machine is. I have to go talk to him. Martin can handle my speech. Martin. Mm -mm. Sophia. <laughs> Fuck. Thank you. gonna be the one that's gonna help us probably 
eventually, maybe possibly the next episode. Monarch Mansion, October 19th. October 9th, excuse me. Close there, huh? I don't know if I should trust. If he should trust her, I don't, I don't know. Wow. She's just, she's playing with my man's heart, bro. I feel so bad for this guy. She's playing them, dude. It's crazy how they went out of the way to make like a full fledged series with all these actors and stuff. to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. And what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. Oh. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism, distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. I mean, if I'm being honest, I rue the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said. I care about Monarch. Wow. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare for my speech. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? Yo, this dude is menacing as fuck. We have control of the presentation. Make it look good. Fuck. 
Hey, you're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker. Crocker! I really need to take a shit. Fuck, come on, Croc. Crocker. Crocker! Come on, Crocker! I'm trying not to talk much during these scenes so you guys can just <laughs> take them all in. You know? Oh, my God. Uh, Over there. Where? The woman with the necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm hmm. It's a pretty good choice. Yeah. But I'm going to have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks. <laughs> chatting about stocks. Yeah. Richard, where the hell have you been? Didn't have my invitation. Oh my god, you're always losing things. I'm not losing anything. Ooh. Drama. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. She's going for it. No. Bam. No. Told ya. Why am I losing you owe me so bad? Sword. I don't think I can drink. Drink. Anymore. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking Yo. rules. You owe me another sword. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually hate all this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for your it. encouragement. <laughs> Oh. Nicely done. Oh. Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm lady. Wow, dude. I'm taking mine too. Crocker, 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 Crocker. Hey, hey, buddy. Crocker! Crocker! Burke! Crocker! Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Burke, listen. If I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. Oh, wouldn't a good word for you? I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking is please let me take a fucking shit. Go to the back wall. Oh, fuck, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Come on. Oh, man. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah. Oh, come on, dude. What the heck? Wow. 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 <laughs> so you don't mind that we left, do you? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think, because somebody twisted my arm. Okay, that, what the fuck is that? Kind of looks like a dinosaur wearing a helmet. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Wh hey, where are we? Are we even allowed to be out here? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. All right. So what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What, if I hadn't have gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, and then I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you work a little bit too much. Yes. But I... <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work. You know, I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, don't you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. I guess, yeah, I love work. Hold oh, right shit. there! Shit! You little fuck! Hey, hey, what? All you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab. You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. 
The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? She's the reason I'm here. Wow. <laughs> My boy's dreams. Gotta love the secret hidden underground basement inside a rock. Is that gun still necessary? <sighs> yeah. yeah. Come on, hurry up. You're a very kind person. Right up here. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. <laughs> I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. Glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> What is that? The second machine, where is it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I've been to the past. I've tried to change things, undo mistakes. Only to find there's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. No matter what I do, you and I, we always end up here. And no matter what I do, time ends. I think you've lost your fucking mind. My mind is intact, I assure you. My memory, however, it's stretched. 
touched. Like, you've seen too much. All of it blending into one. Apart from a few fragments of memories. One in particular. You and I, 11 or 12 years old, when we found that vagrant, remember? And when I arrived at the past, that was the first thing I tried to change. I went to the roof. I tried to talk him down, but my presence startled him and he fell, same as before. Anything I try to change, it just triggers the same event. And we keep seeing that body. Because we were meant to. I'm not turning my back on the human race. At this point. They're a necessary sacrifice. Is that what Will was? Necessary sacrifice? Will refused to believe the inevitability of what was coming. And he became an obstacle. Answer me this question, Paul. In everything you've seen, do I stop before you're dead? Whoa. <laughs> ready to cooperate, I'll be here. So like right now, can we just not, well, I guess he can go back in time. Maybe break the cuffs with his powers or. Who was he? He was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in uh, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of, I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's remnant of mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got the um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LiPo protocol could save us. I have no idea, but the, the Cronon field regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. They just killed this man's buzz, bro. This dude was drunk and feeling good, and now they're feeding him all this shit. Is this... Wait. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Sure. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. You end up like her. Fiona. Wow. I have a stutter proof. Stay here. At the stutter? Where are you going? There are code on harnesses up here. We need them. It's these guys, right? Yeah. Yo. Like the stormtroopers from Star Wars. Like the worst thing. Holy shit! Put one of those on.
All right. Well, <laughs> this is pretty crazy. Let me know again if you guys want to see these episodes. Um, I actually haven't uploaded the first part at the time of recording this video, so I have no idea. So if I ask you more than once, I'm sorry. But uh, should we include these real life episodes at the end of the videos? Uh, I think they add a lot, especially if we take into account the choices that we choose in the junction chapter. This one was good. Really good. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, drop it a like. I'll catch you later.